Okay, so, uh, I forgot to write anything down, so, uh, I'm just gonna turn this into my thoughts of, uh, <laughs> the, uh, pay-per-view, and, uh, my overall thoughts is that it was actually really entertaining, but I have a few complaints. For one, the New Day retains again. Same old shit. This time, the so-called baby faces use dirty tactics underhanded tactics via a fucking trombone that damn trombone man it, it's it's pathetic at this point they just keep holding on to the belts and uh they don't care. They don't care uh, if it's getting old, and it is fucking getting old. It's 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 very stale, very repetitive, very boring. And these guys are not professionals. They don't take anything seriously. Even in the matches, they don't take anything seriously. Big E, a grown ass man spanking other grown ass men, is that professional? No, it's not. Uh, another complaint is the match of the night did not end uh, so very well. Um, you know, Cesaro, Cesaro and Sheamus put on a clinic. They went out there, you know, they went at each other like rabid dogs, just balls to the wall insanity. Sheamus pulling out some new stuff. Just and Cesaro actually kicked out of the bro kick. Who have you ever seen do that? Who have you ever seen kick kick out of just one bro kick? People have been bro kicked uh, at the beginning of a match. People like Daniel Bryan, and they never recovered from it. No one ever kicks out of even one bro kick. But Cesaro did, so obviously they must think of him as a top-tier guy uh, for them to let that happen. Because even as a, even as a mid-carder or a job or anything, once Sheamus uh, kicks you in the head, it's over. Uh, so, I mean, props to them for booking it that way. Uh, just... Sheamus, Sheamus uh, started off the match hot. Like, he went for, like, he Irish whipped Cesaro in the corner, went for a spinning heel kick uh, to the corner. Never seen him do that, ever. So, I mean, he's pulling out some new stuff, definitely. Did a flying clothesline off the top rope. That's impressive. Uh, Nia Jax defeated, uh, she defeated Alicia Fox in what was a very hard-fought Divas contest. Uh, I'm sorry, women's wrestlers, we aren't allowed to call them Divas anymore because apparently they, they aren't wearing, uh, they aren't wearing sports bras and booty shorts anymore, are they? Oh, wait, some of them still are. But we're still not allowed to call them divas. Uh, but whatever. Uh, it was a very highly competitive contest. There was even a moment where I thought Alicia Fox would win. And that would have been a travesty. Because Nia Jax does not need to lose right now. Especially to someone like Alicia Fox. Because as talented as she is, she's not relevant. She is no longer relevant. She's nowhere near the top of the top. She's not in anyone's league anymore. She is at the bottom with the other irrelevant women's wrestlers. And I, I think she might stay there. I mean, who's going to... I mean, who else is going to be at the bottom, right? It's like those women in NXT. They're all at the bottom. Asuka is the ruler of that kingdom. And no one is near her level. 
and no one can ever be near her level, except for maybe Ember Moon, who has actually wrestled her in the Indies. Uh, when, you know, when, uh, I think she wrestled her in Japan or maybe uh, American Indie Company or something. But, yeah, she, she has, res I, they've actually wrestled each other in the Indies. And uh, I've seen highlights of that match when uh, Asuka was Kana. That was, uh, that was pretty good. But, yeah, I mean, uh, the women in NXT aren't any anything. They're all jobbers when they go against someone like Asuka. When they go against any legit competitor, they're all in the same, they're all on the same level when they go against a legit competitor. Watch Nia Jax. She's going to get Rybacked. And by Rybacked, I mean she's going to beat down a bunch of nobodies and irrelevant uh, women's wrestlers. And then when she gets to a real competitor, she's going to lose. Watch that happen. One real competitor is all it takes. That's what they're going to do with her. I'm calling it. But, uh, yeah, uh, Sami Zayn and Chris Jericho had a... A uh, pretty entertaining match. Uh, Sami Zayn kind of messed up his apron DDT thing a little bit, but he still connected with it. But Chris Jericho ultimately won because apparently he's getting ready for like a big push or something. I, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, um, what am I missing here? Roman Reigns defeated Rusev in a a uh, highly competitive matchup. Uh, there was a moment where I thought Rusev was going to retain because uh, Lana broke up the pin after the spear and uh, then after uh, right after uh, Reigns gets kicked again uh, he comes out of the corner with another spear and actually wins it. Uh, Rollins, uh, oh wait, wait, uh, before I do that, a uh, very competitive matchup between, um, uh, Charlotte, Sasha Banks, and Bailey. Very competitive matchup, but I kind of feel like Bailey was being disrespected. Sasha saying it's not about her. She was a part of that matchup. I mean, how could it not be about her? That's, that's stupid. Um, I apologize for the lag if that's going on. Uh, something's wrong with my webcam or computer or something. I, I don't know. It's, it's stupid. Need to get that fixed. Uh, it's still happening. Uh, if it's laggy, I apologize for that. No one's watching anyway, so fuck it. But, whatever, uh... And it's go it's it's doing bad right now. But yeah, um anyone uh you know uh that uh highly competitive matchup. Uh I thought Bailey should have kicked the shit out of uh Dana Brooke for you know throwing her into the barricade. I thought that was ridiculous. Uh Charlotte doing a double moonsault on both Bailey and um uh, uh Sasha, that was pretty cool that was pretty cool. But Charlotte retains, which I didn't like at all. Um uh, Seth Rollins retains as uh not Seth Rollins, but Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens retains. I need to wrap this up because this is lagging bad and whatever. Um I think it's lagging, I don't know. But yeah, uh, Kevin Owens retains in a very good match. But what pissed me off was he missed the senton uh, through the announcer's table. I hate that crap. I hate it when they miss uh, hardcore spots like that. It just irritates me. Like just take, just take the hit, man. Like that's like when Cena refuses to uh, get hit with a diving move. Do just take it. Uh, uh, but whatever, you know, I thought 
I thought Undertaker should have taken that uh, elbow drop from the Hell in a Cell. I don't think Shane should have fell uh, through the table like that. He could have killed himself. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, whatever. Uh, I expected, I, I half-heartedly expected Triple H to come out. But once again, he's a no-show. He's MIA after screwing Rollins the first time, which is just stupid. And it seems like sh this time Stephanie screwed Rollins with that referee, you know, because she had, she had a sort of, you know, troubling look on her face. Like, you know, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, Jericho tried to ruin the match, uh, after the referee got knocked out, couldn't do it. But ultimately, Kevin Owens retains with the pop up power bomb after Seth Rollins hits him with the pedigree twice. Which I hope that they change that soon because that's dumb. Stop doing that, dude. Like, really? Uh, another disappointment is that this pay per view didn't feel that special to me. They should have had this be a. Uh, they should have had this be a, a cross brand uh, type thing where every single belt, including Raw, including SmackDown, every single belt is defended. That would have made it a lot more special because Clash of the Champions, right? Every belt is defended on every other pay per view, anyways, right? Just make it every single belt. Uh, but they didn't do that. It was stupid. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, Roman Reigns, though, just turn him heel. I mean, the guy, <laughs> the guy busts his ass off, and the fans hate him. The fans hate him because he's a big guy uh, that gets shots over little guys and the fans they only really care about people that look like them they don't care about someone like Roman Reigns they don't care if he's talented they don't care if he starts getting good on the mic they don't care if he's working his ass off to entertain them they just don't care they only care if it's someone that looks like them that's why you have people chanting for fucking James Ellsworth a guy with flabby arms and a pot belly. A guy that's in worse shape than I am. How can you root for a guy like that? He looks nothing like a wrestler. Even the cruiserweights look more like wrestlers than him. I hope they don't ever put him in the cruiserweight division because that's going to be a joke. Uh, but I hope to be able to do a better review tomorrow during Raw, well after Raw I should say, but uh, this was a very good pay-per-view. Uh, I only had like a few complaints and they were just minor complaints really, except for maybe the whole Charlotte retaining thing, you know, Char Charlotte shouldn't have retained and New Day they shouldn't have retained and Cesaro versus Sheamus, that should have continued. I, I'm serious. That should have continued. It was match of the night, though. Uh, I feel like I'm missing a match. So if anyone can remember... So if anyone can remember any other matches, I mean... I may not be missing a match, but if I am... Anyone watching, please comment below and tell me what match I'm missing. Because I... I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe it's my memory problems. I forget things sometimes. But yeah, um, that's all the time that I'm going to use. So I am Mike Wayne, aka Rebel 180. So long until tomorrow.